Hi, my name is Stuart Schoen, and we're coming to you from the U-Haul Technical Center in Tempe, Arizona. What we're going to do is we're going to show you today how to uh, couple up a U-Haul trailer onto your car. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, explain to you how, if you're really going to do this at home and you're with your own car and, and, and a U-Haul trailer, I'm going to need you to go to uhaul.com and download the user's guide or user's instructions that we have for you on uhaul.com. Uh, that will have all the, uh, the, the, the specific information that you're going to need to do this. But this video will give you a good overview of what you're going to actually uh, do with your car and trailer. So come on in here. We're going to start by uh, talking about terms first. First, we're going to call this the hitch ball, and then we're going to call this part of the trailer the coupler. Okay? So you might hear me use those words a couple times during this video. First thing you need to do is put the coupler on the ball. Now, with this U-Haul trailer, it's a very light trailer, and, it's, and it doesn't weigh very much, and you can pretty much do it however you want to do it. Some U-Haul trailers are a little bit heavier, and it might require you to get over the, to straddle the tongue here and pick it up right here with this handle, or pick it up by the, by the chains. So basically, you want to make sure that you can put the, the tongue, or put the coupler onto the ball without hurting yourself. So like I said, this one's very light, so I'm going to do it with one hand. Once you get it onto the ball, it should rest in a, in, a, in, a, in a stable position here. And then what you're going to want to do is take your hand and put it underneath here and push up. What you're going to feel is a, a sensation of a spring-loaded piece. You can see me kind of engaging it and then letting it go again. Spring-loaded piece, you want to engage it all the way, push it up as far as you can. Then you're going to take your thumb and you'll see me depress this lever right here. I'm going to depress the lever and then at the same time I'm going to twist this little wheel. We call it the hand wheel. You're going to want to twist the hand wheel as tight as you possibly can. It's impossible to get this too tight, okay? So once you think you got it tight, just rock the trailer some more and tighten it again. See, I got another quarter turnout. The tighter, the better. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do is take the safety chains. It's got every trailer, has a U-Haul trailer has two safety chains. They're located right around here. And what the purpose of the safety chains is to make sure that in the event of something freakish or a collision or something really bad, that the trailer stays connected to your vehicle instead of careening or pinballing all about the roadway and possibly hurting you or somebody else. So the safety chains are pretty darn important. What you're going to want to do is make sure you got two of them. Then you're going to want to make sure that you have these black plastic or rubber, excuse me, these rubber retaining uh, straps. If you don't have them, you need to go back to your U-Haul center and ask for them. They should provide them for you. Then what you're going to do is take these and you're going to cross them. So the right side should be on the left, and the left side should be on the right. Once you got that done, you're going to take the chain, and you're going to feed it through the hole in your hitch. Somewhere on your hitch, there's going to be a hole, a little uh, uh, a part right here, some shape or size, and you're going to want to feed the chain through that hole. Depending on where that is, you may have a lot of slack or a little slack with your safety chain. You want to take up enough slack so where that no matter how the trailer tongue moves, or as we would say articulates, you're not going to, this chain is not going to drag on the ground. So one technique that you can do is you can twist the chain a little bit. That will take up some slack. And then you're going to feed it through itself. Then you're going to take this rubber uh, retainer and you're going to keep it, you're going to slide it up over the, uh, the end of the hook so that it can't go anywhere. One side, perfect, you're done. Now you're going to move on to the next side. You're going to do exactly the same thing. Get it on here. I'm going to do the same thing with my rubber retainer. And as far as safety chains and the coupler uh, ball connection, we're in great shape. The last thing you're going to need to do is connect the wiring. Every U Haul trailer is equipped with what we call a four way flat. This is a relatively common wiring connector with trailers, but not all uh, cars are ready for it. This uh, 2009 Ford Flex is ready to go. And if, you can, if we can get the camera in here, you can see. There, this is, this is the, 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 the receiver where this uh, wiring connector needs to go. It's pretty obvious. It just fits right in here. And you just want to press it in and make sure you got a good, tight, sealed fit that with a little tug is not going to pull out. Again, you'll notice the slack that I, that I allowed in this wiring harness. It's, uh, it, it's enough so that the wiring can move freely as you go down the road, but not too much so, uh, so that it's going to drag. Uh, from there, you're done. You're ready to, to roll. If you want to uncouple the trailer, do the exact same things I did in reverse. 
Um, the only place where I think you might run into some confusion with this is what if you don't have a four-way flat connector on your car? No problem. At uhaul.com, we sell a, uh, a wiring connector that goes in this adapter on the car right here. This is a seven-way round. This is what most cars have. If you don't have a four-way flat, you very likely have one of these. It's a seven-way round, and it might have a cover on it like this. You can go to uhaul.com, and for, uh, uh, for a very reasonable $14.95, you can pick one of these up and have it mailed to your home. We also sell them at, uh, at almost all U-Haul locations. So uh, this pretty much covers it. The, uh, uh, there is also uh, a possibility of more chains. If you, had, if you rented a U-Haul trailer that has a third chain, that means your trailer is equipped with brakes. I have another video that you can find on uhaul.com that will explain to you what to do with that third chain and any other uh, procedural techniques that you need to observe when you're doing the same operation on a trailer of that kind. Thanks a lot. Good luck.